Hey guys, welcome to part two of five tips that you need to know for each of the bass species. Today we're going to talk about largemouth. Uh, yesterday we talked about smallmouth, and these are five things that are species specific. That, in my experience, if you know these five things about this each species, it'll help you catch some fish. So today I want to talk about largemouth, guys. I have five good tips rela relating specific specifically to largemouth. Uh, before I get into it, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You get entered into my monthly prize giveaways, so hit that subscribe button. Lastly, if you're looking to buy some tackle, head over to therealshot.com description, or the link is in my description. Use the, the uh, coupon code STEFAN10 at checkout, and you'll get 10% off your order. It helps out the channel, and uh, yeah, it's a great thing for everybody. So, guys, today I want to talk about largemouth, five things you need to know about largemouth that are, in my opinion, more specific to largemouth than the other species of bass. The first is that they are very bottom orientated. Now that's something that I think a lot of people wouldn't necessarily think, but compared to smallmouth and spotted bass, in my opinion, they are way more bottom orientated. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you're in, if you're fishing 10 foot of water, they're going to be right on the bottom. If you're fishing three feet of water, they're still sitting on the bottom. You know, you you don't find them as much, in my opinion, suspended in the water column. That's one reason why if you're throwing a topwater bait on a 10 foot flat, you don't catch as many largemouth as you would say spotted bass or smallmouth. I just don't feel like they, they wanna come up off the bottom nearly as much as they normally would. So the first, is that they are bottom orientated. So when you're out fishing, part of the key to that then guys, is to get out and fish the bottom. You wanna use bottom baits. So that's, that's number one. The next is that they are often loner fish. So a lot of times if you're fishing cover or you're fishing a tree or a nice rock or something along those lines, then that fish kind of makes that tree as its home. Now, I'm not saying you won't catch multiple fish, you won't catch multiple fish out of a tree, but a lot of times you'll find that one bass, one largemouth, dominates that structure piece. So that's the second. So don't necessarily think because you fished a dock or a stump or a tree and caught one fish that there's gonna be a bunch of them. In my opinion, it's much more often you find largemouth dominating a piece of structure more than say spotted bass or smallmouth who are more in groups of fish. So that's the second thing. And because of that, you can apply that by running patterns more often. If you're finding that they're holding on stumps and you're catching one fish per stump, you can run that pattern faster than you could if you were running, you know, fishing for spotted bass or smallmouth. So that's the second, that's the second thing. Uh, the third, and I've got this fly buzzing me, the third is that, and this goes along with number two, they are the most cover oriented bass species. They really like to hold on cover, whether that's weed, pads, stumps, wood, rock, whatever it is, they really like to hold on a specific piece of cover, much more so than smallmouth or spotted bass, which are much more roaming fish. So that's the third, and that goes along with what I was saying before about you know catching one fish out of individual pieces targets. They they are because you know that bat largemouth are much more orientated to the cover, that allows you to pinpoint where they're living. So that's the that's the third. The fourth is that they, in my opinion respond better to reaction baits than the other two species. Now, what I mean by that is if you've got, you've got fish and you know where they're holding, but they won't bite, you need to impart some sort of reaction, you know, erratic motion into your bait to create a reaction strike. Large mouth, in my opinion, will respond much better to something that is being ripped by in front of them versus say, a smallmouth or a spotted bass. I believe that a smallmouth or spotted bass know pretty quickly whether they're going to react to your bait. They either show complete interest or absolutely no interest. 
and usually you're not going to get them to react at some point during the cast. They'll go right to it and eat it, or they won't go right to it and eat it. Largemouth, I feel like you can get them by surprise a lot better than the other two species. Because of that, it's really good to use reaction baits like a chatter bait or to impart some, you know, better ripping action with a plastic bait or a jig. It's just really good to impart more erratic motion when fishing for largemouth. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing is when it comes to color selection, largemouth are much less interested in crazy colors. They really like the natural colors, the darker colors, the greens, the blacks, the browns. I don't believe you're doing yourself any good by throwing the bright chartreuses or bright oranges or the pinks or just the bright colors that you get a lot of interest out of when fishing for smallmouth and spotted bass. So personally, I don't throw bright colors if I'm fishing for largemouth. I will at times, if I'm fishing really dark, dirty water, go to, you know, a chartreuse bladed spinnerbait. But I'm doing that not because I think I'm gonna get a good reaction out of the fish that's gonna make them eat it. I'm doing it because it's more visible and it allows them to track and find my bait better. Versus smallmouth in the Great Lakes, if you're fishing 20 foot of water visibility, and you're throwing a chartreuse bladed spinnerbait because they're gonna come from 20 feet of water to hit that bait on the surface. Like they are just that aggressive towards it. So guys, those are my five things for fish and largemouth. Use natural colors. Don't really mess your time with throwing something that's bright and crazy. Largemouth, they're very much bottom orientated fish. So you wanna fish, it's better to fish bottom baits for largemouth. They are the most cover or structure orientated fish. So you wanna be fishing a specific piece of cover when fishing for largemouth. It's much better to fish a piece of cover or a piece of structure than just say, go down the bank. You're not gonna run into as many cruising fish. Uh, they respond better to reaction baits. And the last, yeah, I gotta think what it was. Uh, Oh, there's more like more likely to be a single fish per structure item. So those are my five things, guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope that helps you catch a few more largemouth the next time you're on the water. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, share it on your social media pages, and tomorrow we'll be coming out with five tips that you need to know about spotted bass. Thanks for watching.